Welcome back to our Med Smarter Question of the Week, where we're taking a smarter approach to preparing future physicians. Before we get started, if you'll take just a quick minute and click that like button, and also subscribe and turn the bell on so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. Let's get straight to that question. As always, we start with the last sentence of the vignette and then read the rest of the question. Which of the following is the best choice for treating this patient? A 17-year-old girl is brought to the pediatrician by her father because of excessive daytime sleepiness. He states that over the past seven months, he has received numerous phone calls from the girl's school informing him that his daughter sleeps through all of her afternoon classes and is often difficult to arouse at the end of class. The patient reports that occasionally when she wakes up in the morning, she cannot move for extended periods. She says that sometimes when she laughs at jokes or becomes nervous before a test, she feels as if she cannot move her legs. She admits that she has even fallen to the floor because of leg weakness while laughing. Which of the following is the best choice for treating this patient? Take a look at the answer choices, come up with your answer, and type it in the answer box below. So based off of just looking at this vignette, uh, the main things we need to see here is that this is excessive daytime sleepiness. She's difficult to arouse at the end of class when she's sleeping. Cannot move for extended periods. Can't move her legs when some of these episodes happen. And then fall into the floor uh, while laughing. So this is classic narcolepsy. This is exactly how most patients present here. Uh, including cataplexy as well as sleep paralysis. All of these things are, are classic symptoms of narcolepsy. So that means what I need to know is how do I treat narcolepsy? All right, so let's go through the answer choices. A, chloral hydrate. This is a hypnotic. This is not a uh, something that will help treat someone that's falling asleep. This will actually help make them fall asleep for sedation and insomnia. So chloral hydrate is an opposite drug of what we want to use. B, Prochlorperazine malleate. Um, this here is going is an antipsychotic. Uh, it's a typical antipsychotic, I believe, and so we don't use this for any type of narcolepsy. Zolpidem is a hypnotic, similar to similar to the use for chlorohydrate. Uh, so we use this for insomnia. So people that can't sleep, we help them sleep with zolpidem. So we don't do that with, for people that are falling asleep. Uh, hydroxazine. Modafinil is actually a, a stimulant, a psychostimulant, so this is helpful in arousing the brain. So that means my final answer choice is going to be E, modafinil. And E is the correct answer. So like we said here, this patient has narcolepsy, right? Um, and, and we're also seeing cataplexy and sleep paralysis inside of this one. So what is cataplexy? Uh, if you don't know what cataplexy is, this is where they have bilateral weakness, um, and probably doesn't have an alteration in consciousness here, uh, but usually it's during strong emotions. So in this case, cataplexy is going to be when she talks about how she has these symptoms when she laughs at jokes or becomes nervous. Okay, so there's some of that strong emotion, la laughing, crying, fear, uh, and then also uh, while laughing, she falls to the floor. Okay, so we're having that bilateral weakness. You're seeing that uh, play out here during some of those uh, high emotional states. And then sleep paralysis, that's when patients usually either right as they're falling asleep or uh, right as they uh, get out of a, the sleep cycle, they just have total paralysis. They are alert and conscious, but they just can't move. So we see uh, see that in this particular case where she says that she cannot move for extended periods after she wakes up in the morning. So treating cataplexy with modafinil, which is a psychostimulant, uh, they can also, it's also of note, those people that do have cataplexy and sleep paralysis, we can also add something to modafinil. We can also add a tricyclic antidepressant uh, or an SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. If you found this material helpful for your studying, please like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, share this video so that more people can benefit from it like you have.